So I give you my great friend and yours, Tim Menzies. Amen. I wish I could afford to take Butch around the country with me. I might just have to tape him. And this here's Butch back home. What a blessing it's already been, and uh, the message. And uh, I did want to talk about whoever funded the purchase of those harmonicas. I got one of them I'd like to give on back to whoever that was <laughs> before we get in that car. <laughs> yeah. 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 So if I ain't rid of it by chapel in the morning, it becomes an emergency. <laughs> I don't usually like to pitch things, but I will. <laughs> I love you, Brother Earl. And uh, uh, I will say that also, uh, if anything I do you don't like, blame Earl to stack it on with that other stuff. And, <laughs> and uh, well, I love you and Miss Doris. And, and um, it's amazing to me. We know that we have a, a supernatural father. But when you see one idea that he gives to one person and then the two that became one flesh and it grows into this. And uh, only our Heavenly Father knew how important this would be to us uh, in these times. And here we are again at the cove. And I'm also amazed that we know that uh, we all stand before that judgment seat of Christ and Mr. Graham is still stacking up rewards because we're gathered in the place the Lord let him build. The first word that God shares with us in the Holy Book is Genesis 1. In the beginning, God. If we start there, all 66 books come together beautifully and there are no contradictions. If he created all things, then parting the Red Sea is... a uh, child's play to God if he created all things then raising the dead is child's play to God so God the father has always been there in verse 2 of Genesis 1 the Holy Spirit hovered so we know God the Holy Spirit has always been there by divine inspiration the apostle John identified Jesus in John 1 1 in the beginning was the word we know from verses 14 and 17 that Jesus Christ is the Word. So in the beginning was the Word lets us know that in the beginning the Word already was. There's never been a time when Jesus was not. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. How many things? All. I don't read New Testament Greek but it's my understanding that all translated from the Greek means all. We had a study on the word all last night. At the close of his earthly ministry, our risen Savior told his disciples in Matthew 28, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Spirit, and I will be with you how long? Always. I didn't grow up in the church. Uh, I grew up in bars uh, playing music. And I didn't know those verses until I was a grown man. And as I look back over my lost life, I saw that Jesus had been there the whole time preparing me to be at the cove today. <laughs> there that night in Bethlehem and when Neil and the boys came to the moon in that tin can at 
Gettysburg, Omaha Beach, and Vietnam. I heard every soldier's cry and every mama's prayer. I was there. I was there when you took your first breath. When you let that stolen lucky strike and like to choke to death. When you were waist deep in Carter's Creek and Pastor John dunked you down in the water and raised you up for air. I was there. I'm always around. I was then and I am now And I'll be here when tomorrow comes When a road comes to an end I'm where you start again I'm never farther than a word away You've always got a friend when your grandma passed I was in that house When your grandpa ran down the streets of gold To show her around I was there always there and he's here this morning I usually travel around the country by myself because uh, I go on love offerings and I'm speaking to a room full of servants and we know sometimes they're just kind of like your offerings <laughs> yes sir I've had some of those kind of like you ones and uh but our Heavenly Father is always faithful. And I can count on after one of them uh, kindly like you offerings to get a love offering somewhere along the way. Uh, but traveling by myself, uh, I know things can't get but so bad. Uh, and so I'm thankful when I'm at an event like this and I'm able to have my wife and son with me. 
uh, uh, for obvious reasons. And then uh, my son also helps me carry stuff around. And uh, my wife helps me match my clothes. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And so uh, we met. Uh, we just had our 39th anniversary. And amen. And uh, we met years ago. Uh, she had her own band. We're from Virginia. And uh, where Biden got all the cemetery votes in Virginia. Yeah. So we've been in Nashville for 39 years. And uh, she sings with me when she's uh, able and on my records. And I would ask you to please welcome my wife, Brenda, this morning to sing with me today. We already have another answered prayer. I don't see the harmonica. <laughs> oh, oh, that's union scale for a harmonica now. Yeah. See, Todd, she didn't get back to the seat good. She's talking about union scale. <laughs> yeah. that ain't just I said, no, you got to play before you get paid. I don't think she was breathing in and out. You know that you kept saying oh, somebody over here was upside down. I don't understand. <laughs> Mr. Lee, hey, and, and we thank Lee. Uh, you know, we don't just get up here and you can hear everything uh, by accident. Uh, God uh, gifted Lee to be able to hook all this stuff up and keep it running, and I thank you, brother. Yeah. This year is her sound check, and <laughs> appreciate you, Lee. <laughs> working on a building, working on a building.
Amen. I still don't know whether my fingers are going to work just right with the... Somehow, during the COVID thing, I got canceled on more dates than I had booked. <laughs> I've been figuring on that, Earl. I don't quite know. Strangers calling me. Look, if you thought you was coming here, <laughs> ain't going to happen. But then I got that $1,400 for being laid off six months, and everything's just fine now. <laughs> If I lived in a tent. <laughs> yeah. We read in James uh, to not say tomorrow I'm going to do this and next year I'm going to do that. But instead say Lord willing. And, uh, a good friend of mine who claimed to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior but then he'd disappear for two or three months at a time and not behave like a disciple. And he went through two or three families that way. And he had not been sick, and I got a call when I was traveling around that he had been diagnosed and had uh, 90 days to live. And so I was concerned about him, and he'd kind of lose his temper on you. And so I was praying about exactly how to talk to him and being he already kind of thought he was saved, and I'm not saying he wasn't, but I, we are told to be fruit inspectors, and uh, I wasn't so sure about the fruit. But I didn't want to make him so angry with me. I don't mind making people angry, uh, but to tell the truth, but I didn't want to not talk to him. If he only had 90 days, he might not finish getting angry with me, you know, and so... I was driving around thinking about just the right words, and I, looking back, I realized I was dependent on my ability to speak. And the diagnosis was wrong, and he lived two weeks and died, and I didn't get to talk to him, and I regret that. And uh, thankfully, we in this room know that his salvation did not depend on Tim, thank God. And if the Lord wanted somebody to talk to my friend, he would have nudged somebody else who didn't drive around thinking about it. And I learned from that to say a quick prayer and trust the Lord to put his word in my mouth and uh, treat it with urgency. And I pray that my friend who I do know knew who Jesus is, I pray that in those last moments that he called out to him because we know just like the thief on the cross. If we call out to him in our last breath, Jesus doesn't say, no, you waited too late. I tell you this very day, you will join me. And I don't know, but I pray that my friend is up there and that I'll see him again. And I dedicate this song to him. tend to think time's on our side and we'll set things straight when the time is right but we can't see around the bend and we don't know when the road will end I'll get to that is a promise we can't make could be sometime tomorrow it's just one day too late if you want to say i love you don't wait if you need to say i'm sorry don't hesitate don't wait to call your mom if she's this sad heaven's gate don't waste another day for heaven's sake and if you haven't trusted Jesus 
don't wait You might hold a grudge that you justified But that grudge can't help your heart get right Forgiveness always heals the soul it Brings back that peace the devil stole and That old clock just keeps on ticking The hourglass runs out Make the most of every minute Cause all we have is now if you want to say I love you, don't wait If you need to say I'm sorry, don't hesitate Don't wait to call your mama if she's this side of heaven's gate Don't waste another day for heaven's sake And if you have a trusted Jesus been knocking on the door he's prepared a home in heaven for everyone who calls him lord only god knows what tomorrow brings don't waste another day for heaven's sake if you have a trusted Jesus, don't wait. I was fixing to grieve the Holy Spirit with that tuning, Butch. <laughs> I see those old boys that can tune and talk and tell stories about how they, where they grew up. I ain't one of those. <laughs> <laughs> when I tune, the whole room knows it. <laughs> I believe he's up there tuning. We've heard a little bit about the rapture today and, uh, when I read the scripture, that's kind of where I land, is that uh, before the seven years, we'll see 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. Jesus will come down in the cloud and blow that last trump. And those who are dead in Christ will rise first. And those who are alive will rise. And the church will be in the cloud with Jesus to live with him how long? Amen. No more cancer. No more knee replacements. No more knee replacement therapy. Right there's what I hear is rough. No viruses. No scams around a virus. No four year voting cycle. King Jesus. Once and for all. I look forward to that time. And I'm going to do this for Timothy. My son, every time I'm praying about what songs to do, it doesn't matter the environment or the subject or what Lord has called. Timothy thinks I ought to do six feet. That'll work. Six feet will work. It's a, I love you, son. This is the hymn. I woke up a 
alive this morning on this side of the dirt. I don't take one day for granted while God walks me on his earth. If I take my last breath tonight and the good Lord takes my soul, they'll bury this old bag of bones down in some old dark hole. But when Jesus stands up on that cloud, makes that trumpet sound, I'll shed that coat and tie and leave that pine box in the ground. I'm a coming up six feet. No grave gonna hold me. When good God Almighty calls from on high, brother, I'm gonna fly away, blaze the glory to the new place. I've already got the key, cause he rose on day three. I'm a coming up six feet. On streets of gold, uh, no aches, all pains done blind or lame. Nobody's growing old. I'll hear heaven's choir sing new notes I've never heard. I see mansions I have only imagined from God's word. Soon and very soon we'll see King Jesus split the sky. For the devil knows what happened in the blinking of an eye. second can you really say you're ready there's room for everybody but everybody got to confess and believe i'm coming up six feet no grave gonna hold me when good god almighty calls me on high brother i'm gonna fly away blaze the glory to the new Six feet. Coming up six feet. Coming up six feet. I'm coming up six feet. <laughs> Amen. I uh, hope he comes before I get to this next song. Uh, but if he doesn't, we'll come up six feet. I love this theme of return to me. Uh, and we know that God prepares all these messages. And I know that Earl and Doris pray over all of it. And he answers those prayers. And all of this comes together uh, in a miraculous way. And it's always an honor to be here with all the uh, friends that we've now made over these years, the musicians and the preachers and uh, everybody else. We're thankful to be here and uh, return to him. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you. For me, see on the portals, he's waiting, watching, watching for you and for me. Come home.
come home earnestly tenderly Jesus is calling calling oh sinner come home oh for the wonderful love he has promised promised for you and for me though we have sinned he has mercy and pardon pardon for you and for me come home come home tenderly Jesus is calling calling oh sinner come home please join us come tenderly Jesus is calling calling oh sinner come home and all God's people said